Ladies and gentlemen, at Regua in Brazil, we have special lights that attract insects at night. But this morning I came here at the light and I saw something funny happened. A lot of Automerus arrived. Most of them are one common species, Automerus melanops, but I still wanted to show you them. So this little Saturnid here is very common in the area, this is Automerus melanops. And if you visit here you'll likely see a lot of them. As you can see they have very nice little eye spots. You can see it. So last night we pretty much had a wave of males coming in, as you can see. This is not even all of them, it's just a small fraction of the wall. Look at all those outer mirrors. It's funny, huh? Here's even more of them. And some more. Nice little moths. Here's a large hawk moth. It's crazy how many of their outer mirrors there are tonight. All of these are males. Females are quite elusive, on average like of every 20 moths, maybe one will be female, if not more. Today, I wanted to talk to you about one of the most common Saturnidae that I found during my work in Regua. It's called Automerus melanops. Wow, so do I see so many of them every day? Well, no, not every day, but definitely frequently. The interesting thing is that Automerus, they tend to come in waves. What does that mean? It means that every few weeks, there will be a few particular days in which there is a lot of them. That's probably because Saturnid moths have a short lifespan and they need to synchronize their activity. So they have ways of hatching from the pupa in particular moments and higher numbers, showing tiny peaks in their activity. This species is common reportedly from the lowlands of the Atlantic rainforest, but it's absent in higher level elevations. Most of them are recorded from 0 to 500 meters above sea level being the most common around low elevations. Reportedly it flies in Brazil, Pernambuco, Alagoas, Bahia, Rio de Janeiro, Tingua, Minas Gerais, Parana, Sao Paulo, Santa Caterina, Santa Caterina, Rio Grande do Sul, Espirito Santo, in mainly primary and secondary forest. The larvae feed on a variety of plants, including introduced ones not native, 
So they are very adaptable species despite human interference with the habitat. Reported host plants are hibiscus, schinus or pepper tree, terminalia or Indian almond, tamarindus, and honestly probably more plants considering these automerans are very polyphagous in nature. Like other Saturnid moths, these insects do not feed and perish after about two weeks, having a quite limited lifespan. Both males and females flash their eye spots when they are bothered. This is Bart Cobbins from Regua. I study and document the local invertebrate species in this reserve. And today I just wanted to talk about the Automerus melanopes, because there were so many this morning. My channel promotes the study of insect and the environment. If you like the show, consider tipping or donating because YouTube demonetized my entire channel. I don't make any money from my channel apart from what people donate. Only if you are willing and able to, of course, I'm not entitled to anything. Bye bye!